Ham against Chelsea gets underway under these lovely bright blue skies on the Queen Elizabeth II Olympic Park. And it is Chelsea who are in possession early on in this contest and an early touch of Rhys James who's returned from injury. Steered forward by another returnee this afternoon, Thiago Silva, and it is rolled back to Lucas Fabianski away to our left-hand side. He's going to launch this long, Antonio the target, who flicks it on, can't find another Claret and Blue shirt. Thiago Silva on the tidy up, and now here's Mason Mount moving forward in these yellow shirts for uh, Chelsea. Wide to Alonso, who's going to play a ball down the channel for Mount once again. Into the six-yard box it goes, and it's steered away by Declan Rice. Early throw-in for Chelsea down the left-hand side with 50 seconds on the clock. And Alonso is going to think about taking this long. I think it'll be a little shorter, though. Mount has popped up next to him. Comes back to Alonso, who's taken the throw in short. Behind him is Antonio Rudiger, who's on the touchline. And then Jorginho, who's also back in the side today. Much changed Chelsea team. Four changes from the win over Watford. And it goes back to Eduard Mendy now, who has the freedom of that half of the London Stadium pitch to roll this forward. Rhys James on the far side, gets it back from Ruben Loftus-Cheek, who's kept his place in the centre of midfield. A busy little run by Hakim Ziyech, who goes wide to James again, and Chelsea having an awful lot of the possession early on. Here's Jorginho, intercepted by Rice, and that's a foul. Took his time there, Andre Mariner, to give the free-kick Chelsea's way. Declan Rice, the man, penalised. This is a free-kick in quite a dangerous position. It's over 30 yards from goal to the right. Um, about 10 yards in from the touchline. First piece of set piece danger. And Silva and Alonso make their way uh, into the penalty area. Loftus Cheek is a tall, imposing player. He's at the, the far side of the gaggle. And James is going to lift this in from that right side. First test this for the new Hammers back three. Lifted into the penalty area, headed away by Declan Rice. Lanzini tries to keep it alive. Soufal can't run it clear, Chelsea have won it back on the halfway line. It's intense pressure this by the league leaders early on. That ball by Christensen eludes all the yellow shirts on that far side. And it goes out for a throw in which Ben Johnson's going to take. Two and a half minutes gone, nil-nil on BBC Radio London. Paul Parker, your thoughts on the opening exchanges? Well, there's a respite for West Ham now, they've got a throw-in. Let's see if they can just see if they can get possession after the throw-in and then try and get a few passes in because already the game is going in a way I think everyone was expecting. It's about Chelsea having ball retention. The one thing about Chelsea is like they are progressive when they go forward as well. They've already made their mind up they're going to pin West Ham back. No different yeah. to what they've done to Manchester United. Ball lifted forward for Chelsea once again. Easy for Fabianski. That one came to nothing. Fabianski thought he had the chance to release... Jared Bowen down that right side, but Rudiger scrambled across to the touchline to kind of shut the avenue down. Here's Craig Dawson with the ball forward, does find Bowen, it just comes off his shoulder as he tried to control it. Rudiger was in a bit of a pickle there, it was well spotted by Dawson. Bowen was after it, but Chelsea have tidied it up. Here's Mount, left side uh, for the visitors, clipped forward by Alonso, and Kurt Zuma, the former Chelsea man, Guides it back to his goalkeeper, Fabianski, under a little bit of pressure from Havert, so he hacks it clear towards the halfway line. Soufal beaten in the air, it's going to drop to Ziyech on that side, and Rice again has won this back for West Ham, deep inside his own half of the field. Needs a bit of help here, he's given it back to Alonso, who in turn gives it back to Rice, and the home supporters enjoyed that. They might be a little bit perturbed at how little of the ball they've had in the opening exchanges here. The Hammers, here's Rice once more, turns away well from Hakim Ziyech and they're cheering every single thing that's going their way at the moment because Chelsea have been on top in these opening four minutes or so. Dawson slides it forward, Suchek lets it run, Bowen can't keep it in play in front of the two dugouts. Uh, but David Moyes is having a word already with the fourth official down there. He's I don't know whether he... I think he thought the ball was still in play. No, I think it's more about he thought he was touched. He was touched by a Chelsea player. Oh, right. That's, he, what, that's what I was thinking. David Moyes says he was touched by a Chelsea player. Well, he's... <laughs> I'm sure David Moyes would not necessarily worry about that sort of thing. Here's Antonio. Oh, he's pulled it back, Andre Mariner, for a foul. I think by Lanzini on Loftus-Cheek. Well, I'll, I'll be honest, I, I'm really not seeing that, by the way. 
really not seeing that as a foul. And he was saying that it was only three, four yards away. Surely, you know. Yeah, he must he have could, it. He could have missed it. Yeah, maybe he blinked. Yeah. Nil-nil. Five minutes played at London Stadium on BBC Radio London. And it is all Chelsea in these opening exchanges. West Ham have had the odd flutter, that little ball down the channel for Dawson to release. Bowen didn't quite work out. Thomas Tuchel in his grey puffer jacket already getting lots of instructions on. His team are on the attack. This is Antonio Rudiger over the halfway line. Into Ziek. Gives it back to Loftus Cheek. Gliding forward. Gets held up. Now Jorginho. Loftus Cheek again just outside the West Ham D. Turns. Spots James in a good position. Ride right. In comes the cross. It's awkward. Ziek almost gets there. Real scramble. And it comes off Dawson and is swallowed up by Fabianski. Nervous moments for the Hammers. There was loads of space down that right side for Rhys James and he put in a dangerous cross. Ziek almost got on the end of it. Yeah, I mean, again, that goes, gets that wide far too easy in behind the back the back three of West Ham. That's a crossing position that Rhys James has got into. I think we've seen West Ham at the moment trying to play a bow and getting, being up front with Antonio. The only problem that's causing is the fact of now he's lost his cheek. He's just virtually getting the ball from Silvers in the centre half, from the centre half, into his feet, and he's turning and running. So that's the problem that's happened at the moment. They're getting too much time on the ball. Easy passes in the midfield, and then they're just breaking through and running virtually on top of the back three. Applause around the ground uh, concerning that awful story of the uh, the young boy who lost his life. Uh, he's picture of him in his Birmingham City shirt uh, up on the screen away to our right and uh, there was going to be a, a moment to pay respect to him and uh, said everybody uh, on their feet uh, just marking that here come Chelsea down the right with Reese James always giving it away Bowen is going to run at Thiago Silva here and he's got Antonio ahead of him and he's delayed Bowen but there's still some space for him to work for, and he's going to break into the box and drives it not too far away. Yeah. Well, Jared Bowen at times didn't quite know what to do with that, but he kept going. In the end, the shot might... It was uh, Thiago Silva who gave it away straight to Bowen, and the shot flashed over. And the thing about it is Antonio has made a run, and he's gone... He's, I mean, in the end, he's used him as a decoy, and he had to use him as a decoy, because he'd gone too far wide. It, you know, what was he looking for? There's only two against four... They had to maybe go a little bit direct. He'd done that, Bowen, and I'll tell you what, he, he was right to do what he's done. Shot wasn't that far wide, and he's turned around and said to, had to tell Antonio the reasons why he never gave him the ball. The correct decision he made. Chelsea trying to play out from the back here. Mendy sweeps it away, yes. Arthur Labino hughes the, uh, the boy who was murdered, and, uh, as I said, football fans around the country this weekend are taking the opportunity to pay their respects to that awful, awful story uh, from this week. This is BBC Radio London. Uh, the Chelsea and West Ham fans have, uh, have contributed as well. And the Hammers are coming forward now with Manuel Lanzini. Clipped over the top, Bowen can't get there. There's another mistake by the Chelsea defence and Lanzini's latched onto it. And Bowen gets it wide to Antonio on the left-hand side. Just Lanzini in the box. Suchek arriving, he's headed it wide. Thomas Suchek burst into the box to get on the end of that. And he connected... And Chelsea are presenting West Ham with opportunities to attack them at the moment, Paul Parker. Yeah, and we saw something similar in certain ways where Man City went to Stamford Bridge against Chelsea and they pinned them down. But they are obsessed with trying to do this. They are obsessed. That's what they do. Now they ain't. Mendy's pushed them away. He's had enough of it. They need to clear their lines a bit. Great work by West Ham to do that, by the way. And that was like Suchek of old, by the way, with that ball coming yeah. in and he's gone to attack it. He weren't far away. But that was a Thomas Suchek, Suchek who was about West, what, what West Ham were about when he first arrived. Love those late runs into the box. Oh, I mean, John is, Walk style. There yeah, you go, one of, the, one of the teenagers. Let's, let's go a little bit more close. Let's look at maybe a David Platt. Absolutely. Oh, there you go. David, yes, absolutely. Though They are devastating. At the other end, here come Chelsea down there. That's the first real chance for West Ham in this game. It's going to drop to James. He shoots, saved by Fabianski. Well... Talking with Phil Parry at the start of our programme about Reese James' scoring record. Five goals so far this season. He had a ping from the edge of the box. Good save. Certainly was. And to be honest, when you just mentioned Phil Parry, I thought you were using that as a rhyming slang, thinking that Fabianski was going to parry it or something. 
<laughs> I thought, what's the Phil Parry got to do? He's made a oh, save, the keeper. I wanted to give Phil credit because he was the one. I thought if Reece, yeah, Phil Parry starts the conversation to talk about Reese James' goal scoring prowess and James scores inside 10 minutes. I think we have to, we'd have to raise our hat to Phil. No rhyming slang involved at all. No, it's so unusual. But yeah, for you, especially <laughs> for your neck of the woods as well, coming out of rhyming slang. Yeah, absolutely. It's, um, oh, Mendy's come a long way out and Bowen challenges him and he gets rid of it to Rudiger. They're playing a few risks today, yeah. the Premier League leaders. They've just got to be careful, West Ham. They don't, get, they don't go with the fans and maybe just push on too hard and send themselves out the wrong area they should be and they get broken through. That line gets broken and all of a sudden West Ham are attacking and pinning people down. Jorginho inside West Ham territory. Chelsea still with the majority of the possession. Ziyech exchanges passes with James. And rolls it to Mount inside the penalty, cuts it back, and it's drilled into the side netting by Havertz. The flag was up, it wouldn't have counted. That looked a goal any which way you looked at it. Yeah, they're getting to the byline far too easy. I think one of the one of the things, when you're playing the back three, players shouldn't get to the byline so easy, in my opinion. It's, it's happening far, far too often, and it's happening up against Issa Diop as well. It's on his side of the pitch, and if anything, he's got to stop that because that is such an involved, that's a premium area to be crossing. If you get near on the byline or near the byline, they're premium areas. You can't afford teams to get in those positions. Speaking of credit where credit's due, there was a long discussion in this press box before the game started about who would play in the middle of the back three. And uh, I said Dawson, other people said Dawson. Paul Parker said, it'll be Zuma. You play your best player through the middle of the field. And you were absolutely right, because Kurt Zuma is playing in the middle of the three. Diop to the left, Dawson oh. to the right. Now they've given it away again, nearly uh, Chelsea, but they've won it back, and Havertz is battling for it on the halfway line. He's just tucked an effort wide, even though he was offside. And the yellow shirts are pouring forward. Here's Rudiger. It's just sloppy. That was so sloppy by Antonio, he's done all the hard work, just roll it, and he's chipped it, chipped it to Socek. Ziyech is going to clip this ball into the box, headed away by Issa Diop at the uh, near post for the Hammers. Collected by James, there's a muted appeal for handball, not given, it drops to Jorginho, just on the edge of the centre circle, back in his more familiar position for Chelsea, they'll feel an awful lot better about things, Chelsea supporters seen Jorginho ticking things over in midfield, they haven't got and Golo Kante, of course, to assist him in that job. I will tell you now, the biggest miss is Kolovic. Kovacic as well, yeah, another, yeah, another, got, another big key central midfield miss for a, Chelsea. He is a massive miss because they've got no one who runs with the ball. ZX steers this forward, Mount with a heavy touch, flicks it wide to Rudiger on the left. West Ham have pulled everybody except Antonio back behind the football. Here's Mason Mount, left side for Chelsea. Just cannons off Bowen's heels and goes back to the halfway line, Rudiger resets, Is Thiago Silva on the halfway. The pattern of the game has been pretty consistent in the opening 13 minutes or so. Chelsea with possession, Chelsea inside West Ham territory, West Ham holding them off just about. This is played through uh, for Havertz, edge of the West Ham box, back to Alonso. Mount takes over, just Ziyech in the box. And they are just knocking it around all over the place, Chelsea. West Ham almost happy to not have possession of the football, just waiting for the moment to try and take it off them and launch a counter-attack. But Chelsea are getting closer. Here's Mount, Alonso, corner of the West Ham box. Jorginho takes over with Antonio trying to close him down. They've kept it alive, though, uh, Chelsea. Christensen, Loftus-Cheek. There's a little bit of a sense of foreboding for the West Ham supporters. That West Ham haven't really touched it properly for a good long while. Chelsea still have possession right side. Christensen uh, forward. Ziek with a raking pass right to left. Brought down by Mount. Wants to run at Soufal. Onto his right foot. Then twists onto his left. Good work by Mount. The cross hits Soufal. Flies up in the air. And the big Czech defender hooks it away from danger. Bowen holds it up. Still deep inside his own half. And the referee's going to give a free kick here for a foul by Rudiger on Bowen almost level with the edge of the West Ham box. Some respite for the Hammers, nearly quarter of an hour played on BBC Radio London, West Ham nil, Chelsea nil. I mean, again, that was fantastic there by Jared Bowen. He's just got in front of Rudiger and he's held him off, he's kept possession of the ball, always composed, always in control. Antonio needs to watch and learn how you do it. Just to take, the, take a bit of pressure off the back three, off the midfield, and just keep the ball. When you do make a decision to pass, make sure you give it to a player in the Claret and Blue shirt.
he's been poor so far. Well, he's not had the easiest of runs, has he, since playing those two games with Jamaica and coming back. But he should be able to keep hold of possession, yes. he should want to. Well, if your centre forward is not doing that, you've got a problem, haven't you, you really? You have got a problem. West Ham have got an even bigger problem than most, they haven't got another centre forward. No, no, the, uh, the cupboard is a little bit bare on that. Uh, the cupboard's, cupboard's empty, mate. I wait, yeah. Well, don't forget Sonny Perkins, but he's not available. The 16-year-old lad who nearly scored with his first touch against Rapid Vienna the other day, you and I were watching that one. Uh, but he's not been selected today. Ball down the channel here by Dawson, looking for Soufal, cut out by Alonso. Is Rice going to pick up the pieces here? Well, they're claiming a foul. The referee's waived advantage. It was Loftus-Cheek who caught him. Here's Suchek going down the right, into Bowen, back to Soufal in a crossing position. He's going to make some inroads down that right side. Exchanges passes with Lanzini. Bowen being trapped by Jorginho. They go back to Dawson, just inside the Chelsea half of the field. Don't know if this counts as a spell of pressure for West Ham or not. They've not strung anymore. five passes together and they've gone back into their own half. <laughs> Is uh, Diop, one of three centre halves for West Ham this afternoon. Oh, and Antonio almost gets on the end of another hesitation, this time by Christensen. And Chelsea are actually presenting West Ham with opportunities in that part of the field. Well, they haven't been able to capitalise on yet. Loftus Cheek is coming forward for Chelsea, and Mount gets it wide to Alonso on that left side of the field. Ziyech and Havertz in the penalty area comes back to Loftus Cheek. Mount again on that flank. Crowd's gone a little bit quiet. I think possibly because of Chelsea's uh, possession. All, all the possession is for the away side. Now, Havertz lays this back to Lanzini, who tries to find Antonio. He gets challenged, it's lifted forward, almost finds Alonso. Dawson clears for the Hammers, only as far as Bowen, who's still deep inside his own half of the field. Again, wants to try and draw the foul from Antonio. Instead, instead wins a throw-in, and Jared Bowen's doing some really good hold-up work for West Ham. The problem is he's doing it halfway inside his own half. And he's doing it practically on his own as yeah. well. The, most pro the, two, the two most prominent players for West Ham at this moment in time is Jared Bowen and Declan Rice. They're the two of the most prominent players at this moment. To be, and if at the moment, if you're looking for him progressive going forward, it has to come off for of one of those two. Oh, Antonio nearly releases Bowen down the right side. The angled header for Bowen on the flank. He was trying to stay on side. And he just wriggled away from him and out of play for a Chelsea throw uh, inside their own half of the field. 17 and a half minutes gone. Uh, there's me waxing lyrical about those cobalt blue skies well we've got some cloud above us now it's not quite the perfect winter saturday afternoon that it was uh, still a lovely day though and rice has ridden a couple of challenges and the referee again has waved advantage and now lanzini's gone down right on the edge of the chelsea box rudiger's saying i can only do so much and uh, andre mariner says i could have given a free kick there i could have given a free kick there and i'm going to give a free kick Oh, he's given the first one. Why hasn't he given the second one? He can't because... He's pushed it, but maybe you can't. No, That's because he, he no, should because be on he, the corner of the box. Yeah, but he played on, you see. Once he's done that play on, and then, obviously, then he's allowed to go back. He can't go in the initial one unless it's a penalty. There you are. More sage words from Paul Parker. So you can't give... If it's advantage and there's another foul, it's a free kick, you can't give the second I don't one. Know. If he got into the box and he was fouled in the box, then that would be a different, different situation. Right. Bowen to take this free kick. This, going back to our earlier conversation, would be a great position for Aaron Cresswell's left foot. Not available for West Ham today. I don't think Jared Bowen's that bad to be. No, no, I think he's a pretty good replacement. Rice is there as well. Dawson's forward. Suchek a real threat. It's going to be struck by Declan oh. Rice. Into the penalty. It looks for Dawson headed behind by Loftus Cheek. Really testing delivery by Rice from this near side. And Dawson was homing in on that. We know how effective he can be. Loftus Cheek to the rescue. West Ham corner. Well, I'll just look at the way free kicks are now from those areas. And it becomes who's the quickest more than anything. Where before we used to sit that bit deeper and your bravest and strongest would be there battling. Now it's virtually like a race. You're keeping your lines so shallow it's incredible Diop at the near post this corner is swung in looks for Dawson it's oh, awkward it's, it's going to come back to Dawson drives it towards goal saved by Mendy what a scramble I'll tell you what the first ball that comes in Socek has actually hit him and gone out I'm sure it hits him and goes out the wrong way yes 
it hits Socek right in the middle of the of the goal and it goes back out again almost heading out back to where the corners come in he was unprepared for it his body he was facing where the ball was coming from and it hits him on the head and goes back in that direction that's another good chance for West Ham that Socek header wide and now Dawson that well the, the, then it comes to Socek and he can't get the uh, effort towards goal then Dawson's shot is saved Chelsea have gone close through Reese James West Ham have had the better chances, I would suggest, in the opening 20 minutes Ooh. or so. There's a bit of a coming together between Ben Johnson and Ruben Loftus-Cheek. It's been won by Lanzini. I whisper this to West Ham fans, but the Hammers are growing into this game. Here's Antonio down the left, crosses very early, too early really for Mendy to be put under any pressure. He gathers it comfortably. This is better from the home side. It's definitely better, and I didn't mind that from Antonio. The ball's given to him by Ben Johnson. He's out and near the touch on his left side. He's in a decent area. The only, th the only thing that let him down was the execution of the cross. But he's gone, he's gone early with his left foot, his weaker foot. I think he has to do that. I think he has to go early. Paul Parker with us on BBC Radio London this afternoon. Loftus-Cheek has put that up into the stratosphere. It's going to come down with snow on it on a day like this. The average, man, the average man would have said into space. Yeah, just, there just you go. Really well, not quite, not quite the stratosphere. Then you'd, you'd, have, gone, you'd have gone further. <laughs> Typical exaggeration. <laughs> space? No. <laughs> Dear oh, it's a big stadium, but we're not, we're not that high up here. Here come uh, Chelsea down the left with Alonso running at the edge of the box. He's got Soufal on the outside. Soufal blocks the cross. Oh, was he stopped? I thought he was going to stop it from going out for a corner. He hasn't quite, and he's furious with himself. It's really good defending. Would have been unbelievable defending. It is a corner. Yeah, it's funny, though. I'm looking at the referee. I could see it was a corner. The referee's looked to his assistant on the far side, and then he's, look, he's looked over here towards the fourth official, and then he's made the, the decision. What's it? The fourth official? He's got, what's honestly, he asking him for? He's oh, miles away. Well, he's, a, he's an official. He is, he's very official. Yeah, very yeah. official. Glad well, we've got that one sorted out. Here is the corner, which will be taken by Hakim Ziyech from the uh, left side. Uh, Havertz in there, Jorginho, and this is a terrible corner. Head away at the near post by Soufal. Comes back out to Ziyech on this left side. Wants to run at Soufal, has to go square, given to Jorginho. He's got Suchek trying to block him off. Back to Christensen. Jorginho again, oh, and he's taken it away from Bowen, then Rice steams in. And so I think Jorginho's handled that. He wanted a free kick. Uh, Andre Marin has given a free kick, the handball, and Jorginho's thrown it away. And he's now exchanging pushes uh, with Suchek. He's got to go in the book. That was stupid on a number of levels by Jorginho. Shouldn't have got caught in that position, shouldn't have handled it, shouldn't have thrown the ball away. And he's gone down pretty easy. He's been caught round the neck. But I'll tell you what, that was petulance at its, at its highest, to be honest, really. That was absolutely terrible, what I've just seen there. Totally like, unnecessary. Like a little baby was in the way he reacted. That was criminal. Now, does uh, the West Ham player kind of catch him? Well, here's the free kick. It's going to drop to Antonio. Who rolls Christensen and shoots over the top. It was left-footed. It was out of control. It was a tight angle as well. Uh, but... Again, if you're West Ham, I suppose, do you see that moment as another little victory? Jorginho on a yellow card is actually quite quite a helpful thing from a West Ham perspective. They need as many advantages as possible. This is a, this is a game where they, if they can get something from anything from it, it's an absolute plus. Everyone knew this, this, these games were going to be tough for them. Yeah. This is a moment where everyone's looking for West Ham to fall down because of their squad. Everything's said about big, strong squads. West Ham aren't good enough. To, got to go out and sometimes work hard and prove it. And come, if they can get through this and take something from this game, then it hasn't been a bad time for them until the next spell over Christmas. So not much time to have a rest no. in between <laughs> and to, to pat themselves on the back. Well, they got the the, the, um, the, the European game on Thursday, which is uh, you know a dead rubber. This is going to be collected. Not for Zagreb. No, not for that's a good, fair, very fair point. West Ham have got the job done. Tino Zagreb haven't. Here's Mount down the left for Chelsea. Checks in field, goes back to Antonio Rudiger, and the pattern of earlier is re-established with Chelsea in possession. I don't think it's a bad thing, Nick, if you slow them down and just get them, then you can get yourself fit. It's just when it gets quicker now around the edge of the box. With, that's, where the, that's where it's just about being in the right areas now, not always trying to win the ball, just make sure you fill gaps so they can't pass through you. Ziyech um, with 
James on that right side. Again, you, it, it is slowing down. It's interesting, as Paul mentioned, when it, when it quickens up, that's when there's the danger for West Ham. Rudiger, 35 yards from West Ham's goal. Wide to Alonso, left side. In comes the cross, it's cleared by Zuma. And collected by Rudiger on the left. He's got Bowen closing him down. Thiago Silva's collected this. Finds James in a little bit of space on that right flank. James is going to lift it in, and there's a free header for Havertz, which is at Fabianski. Well, he lost everybody there. They've got three centre-halves, and none of them picked up the most advanced Chelsea player. I mean, they did. They totally lost him, but the problem was he lost where his head was, because he just didn't head that correctly at all, did he? That was there for anybody who, who was just so clinical with their head for them to go and make it 1-0. They're the moments when they switched off, when it slowed down, yeah. went a little bit quicker and bang, they're in trouble. Fascinating contest at 0-0, chances at both ends, Suchek and Dawson for West Ham, James and Havertz for Chelsea. It's come off Alonso and gone out of play for a throw into the Hammers. David Moyes takes this opportunity to whisper a few things in Vladimir Soufal's ear. And the right wing back for West Ham's going to take this throw. He's pinched a couple of yards. Here's Suchek, who had that header early on. Bowen round the corner. Suchek down the right makes some progress for West Ham. Gets held up by Alonso. Oh. Funneled it into the box and Suchek, who takes it to the byline. The cross is charged down. Bowen can't pick up the pieces. Alonso can. Oh, and then, oh it's just got away from Soufal. Fair play to him. It's a lovely pass to pick out Suchek in the penalty area in the build up. It was, it was uh, over a distance as well. His nutmeg Alonso, all intended as well. And they couldn't couldn't get that ball into the box. I'd like to have seen Soufal just cross, try and cross it, at least try and get a corner earlier. Alonso digs out a clearance for West for a Chelsea to the halfway line. And here's Ben Johnson. Jabs this forward into Antonio, he's giving oh, straight to Loftus cheek. Yeah, he was under pressure from Christensen, and now this is where West Ham could be in trouble. It's with uh, Havertz on the right, he's been forced wide, and he's earned a corner off Diop. Second corner of the game to Chelsea down their right with 19 minutes to go to the break. And that's where you really wanted Antonio to be stronger, but his body position's right. The hardest thing as a defender, if you get in, doesn't matter what size you are, what stature you are, someone goes side on to the fetch practically putting his shoulder into your chest and you can't get anywhere around them get the ball because every time you get the ball try and get the ball they pull their shoulder away and they hit you right in the middle of the chest if he hits you in the middle of the chest you're going to struggle to breathe yes. for a while <laughs> he's got to know and learn to use his body better it's not about strength it's about body position here's the Chelsea corner right footed out swinging towards Loftus Cheek who flicks it on and that's come off Zuma and gone out of play for another corner to Chelsea their second in quick succession and that's about the second ball there and Zuma you know thank heaven for him so I'll tell you what that second ball could have caused a problem because it was coming in flat as well yeah. Zuma was just in the right place it's, it's hit him more than he's reacted well, to going to the ball Jorginho was very close to him here's another corner this one goes high Thiago Silva heads it down and in and Chelsea take the lead 28 minutes, the second corner causes problems, and it's Thiago Silva back in the side, and getting four from set pieces, who's done the damage inside the six-yard box, Fabianski flung himself at it, tried to claw it away, but it ended up in the back of the net, and the Premier League leaders are in front, West Ham nil, Chelsea won. Well, this, this go is something simple, in which um, everyone's thinking, or what's thinking, it's going to happen soon, at some point, and we've just seen it, he's... He's won that far too easy. It was a textbook header as well. He's headed it down into the ground from about eight, nine yards, and Fabianski just couldn't get to it, couldn't move his feet quick enough because he got his fingers to it. If he could have just got that little bit more, more towards the palm of his hand, then it, he could have kept it out, but his feet just weren't quick enough. But he's headed it down and he's picked up momentum off the grass, and that was the bit that's just beat beat Fabianski in the end, it was coming, they looked the most likely to score, West Ham were playing on the counter, I think the same might carry on, but they've got to do better, I want Antonio to use a little bit more than strength and use a little bit more guile about keeping the ball for his team. Well here he is on the left, there's another poor back out of our Chelsea player and he's in a corner, or has he kept it in play, now the game continues. Ben Johnson onto his left foot now. In comes a teasing cross, looking with Suchek flicked away. Only as far as Soufal. Soufal goes to oh. a goal off the line by Silva. Back in by Rice and gathered by Mendy. 
Sufau's shot was goal-bound, and Thiago Silva didn't seem to know much about it, but he just got his body in the way and lifted it clear of danger. West Ham nearly equalising a minute after going behind. What a reaction that was. Just seeing Silva again, I mean, that, that is such intelligent defending. But Sufau, what a strike as well. But Antonio, just as I was criticising yeah, him, he, did well. he looked like he was going to let it go for the corner. The referee had pointed to the corner flag as well. Christensen stopped working. He's just got a major rollicking from Thiago Silva. And what Ben Johnson faked on his right foot, cut inside on his left foot and put a wonderful ball into a decent area for, for Socek to attack. He just gets a slight touch. It goes behind him to Soufal when he takes it on his chest and he half volleys it and it was a clean strike but maybe one of the best defenders in the Premier League who reads the game better than most in the league was in the right place at the right time absolutely crucial intervention from Thiago Silva at both ends of the field in the last couple of minutes here on BBC Radio London and the game really is opening up here's Rhys James gets it wide to Ziyech right side crosses for Havertz cleared on the stretch by Zuma comes back to James again, in comes another cross into the penalty area, Zuma heads it clear once again, Rice completes the clearance. Still got 15 minutes this first half to go. And that's what I said about Kurt Zuma playing in the middle. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I would never ever question that. I didn't, I didn't quite, I, mean, I thought it might be Dawson, but um, made an awful lot of sense. You play your best players through the middle. That's what a spine of a football team is all about. And here is the goal scorer, uh, who is also, funnily enough, playing in the centre of the Chelsea back three. Given to James, and now mounts onside as he gets across it, looking for Alonso, can't make contact, flashes across the goal, comes out to Ziyech, who's going to run at Dawson, in comes another cross, it's missed by everybody, drops to Loftus, cheek is deflected into the arms of Fabianski. Well, the chances all of a sudden are coming thick and fast at both ends. Certainly are, and just there, it's just Fabianski was in the right place, and it took a deflection, that shot from Loftus, cheek Oh, better from Antonio to hold it up, but then Bowen's layoff goes straight to a yellow shirt. Can I just say there again, Antonio, he gets the ball, swings round, just happy just to kick it towards Jared Bowen. No care, no appreciation of how to deliver a ball to a teammate. Well, he got himself in a position where he was going to win the ball, and obviously thought, oh, I've done that bit, and oh. then I haven't thought about the second oh, bit, maybe. It's, it's shocking, shocking. Jared Bowen's done well to reach it, and he nearly got it to Socek. Nearly did. But he couldn't do any more than what he'd done. It was sloppy again. West Ham nil, Chelsea won. Five of West Ham's last six Premier League home goals have come from a corner. So uh, a chasing experience to concede from one. Here's Alonso for Chelsea. In comes the ball into the box, looking for Havertz, who nearly gets there. Now that's gone out of play off someone. And Andre Marin has given a corner to Chelsea. Their fourth of the game they scored from the last one. West Ham have got to stay in this in the remaining 12 minutes of the first half going to be Hakim Ziyech who's going to take this corner for Chelsea down there uh, left there's a whole pile of bodies there as the cross came in looking for Havertz Ziyech has placed the ball inside the quadrant someone needs to make sure they picked up Thiago Silva he's going to make a late dart into the six yard box he's hanging back at the moment lots of yellow shirts forward Ziyech with a delivery it's headed away by Zuma as far as James comes back out now to Christensen who fancies a shot from 25 yards and that one has not troubled Lucas Fabianski uh, at all 1-0 Chelsea lead the ageless Brazilian centre-half Thiago Silva has headed the Blues in front West Ham have had chances though the Suchek header wide early on the scramble from a set piece that ended with Dawson's shot saved and that Sufal effort off the line by Thiago Silva of all people to keep it at 1-0. Chelsea playing out from the back and giving it away again. This is Declan Rice surging through the middle. Sufal to his right. Here he is, level with the edge of the Chelsea box. He's got Alonso with him, wants to give it back to Rice. Intercepted by Alonso and then Dawson has chopped Ziyech down. Free kick Chelsea inside their own half of the field. Not the worst free kick that Craig Dawson's ever going to give away. No, he wasn't. He's lucky that Ziyech quite fancied it as well, to be honest, because in theory he could have kept going. Yeah. He's actually ran into his leg, hasn't he, really? Yeah. He said, Joe, I wouldn't mind a free kick. I wouldn't mind conceding a free kick here. All right, well, we'll sort that out then. Yep, exactly right. There is a West Ham flag that's been buffeted all over down to our right. It gives you a sense that there's a bit of wind up here at London Stadium. Ziyech tangling with Zuma as the, this ball's played forward with Chelsea down there. Left, Zuma puts it out of play for a throw into the Blues. 
We've got just over 10 minutes of the first half to go. This is BBC Radio London and Chelsea lead by uh, a goal to nil in what has been a really good, interesting, diverting first half an hour or so of football this Saturday lunchtime. It's the Chelsea fans you can hear at the moment. Christensen surging forward, gets it wide to James on the uh, right side. Three waiting for it, Loftus-Cheek has moved a bit further in field. Here's Ziyech, 25 yards from goal, wide to Alonso, left side. It's got Havertz in the penalty area, given to Rudiger, who advances to the edge of the box. He tries to curl it in, it's blocked by Dawson. Comes out to this near side and Alonso. Again, West Ham have kind of retreated a bit. <coughs> Loftus-Cheek's going to give this to Mount. He shoots as well and it's gathered by Fabianski. It was pretty tame in the end. Spell of Chelsea pressure comes to an end. Yeah, it certainly has, and they just need again now just to slow it down a little bit and try and get to half-time where it is at the moment. <coughs> They're going to get another chance, they will get another chance, oh, but if they give it away like that, Lanzini's they won't. Lanzini's giving it away, here's Havertz right side of the box into Ziyech, lovely football, Mount getting involved, nearly drops a loftus cheek, uh, and a shot by Jorginho is blocked. Johnson's going to get it away uh, for West Ham, that's deflected out of play for a West Ham throw. Nearly the architects of their own doom there at West Ham, doing it Chelsea, giving it away in a bad area. Yeah, but they, that was unnecessary, the way they've gone and done it. I mean, Chelsea's last one was all about Mendy again. Mendy sometimes makes some terrible mistakes, as he did against Manchester United as well, giving it away from the back. And I could just see, just then, he got, when he did do it, he gave it to Silva, and Thiago Silva's running away with his arms out saying, virtually saying, what are you doing? Yeah, yeah, there's been a few of them for Chelsea today, and that's what may give West Ham hope in this game. The Hammers are now trying to play their way out from the back. Uh, pressed by Ch Chelsea, it's cleared towards halfway. Is Lanzini going to get there? Well, the ball's still in play on that side remarkably, and Declan Rice has emerged with possession. He's been penned in by Jorginho. Zuma tries to bring it out of defence, just about finds Suchek. Forward to Lanzini, Suchek takes over. A bit more positive this from West Ham. Here's Soufal on the right. Oh, tries to give it to Antonio, run too early. And now ZX won it, and he's been bulldozed down by uh, Dawson. That isn't a foul, he won the ball, he was just stronger. See, it was like a feather there. Ooh. And lands, oh, and Antonio oh, held it up, laid it off, oh. but has Soufal scurrying backwards to collect it. Sloppy, Paul sloppy. Parker living every moment of that piece of football. I know he's done well, done really, really well. But in January, for West Ham to maybe edge a little, to edge, edge a little bit forward, and in that final third, they need someone else to, for him to compete against, for him to relate to, and go, I want to be better than him. Because he knows at the moment he's the only striker at the club, and, yeah. he's, and he's still learning the centre forward's craft. As you yeah. mentioned on a number of occasions, you know there are lots of bits. Oh, this might come for Bowen, is it? He gets in a tangle with Mendy. Mendy can't pick it up. And Mendy's brought Bowen down. It's a penalty. A piece of chaos at the back for Chelsea. The back pass was undercooked. They hadn't spotted Bowen. Mendy had the ball under control briefly. It's Jorginho okay. who undercooks the back pass. Bowen puts the keeper under all sorts of pressure. And Bowen wins the ball. Mendy has no choice really but to bring him down. And we're going to get the chance to see it again. He's caught Bowen as he goes for the ball, Mendy. This is going to be a penalty and a chance for West Ham to equalise. Right. Two things I'm going to say first of all is Jared Bowen's done great on the first one because he could have been overzealous and then make, given the kick an opportunity for a foul. Why did Mendy just pull it out for a goal kick? Why is he looking to run across his goal and kick it out for a throw in? Sloppy from the goalkeeper, even more sloppy from Jorginho again after the Manchester United debacle. Absolutely incredible. Lanzini. The man charged with the responsibility of taking this penalty for West Ham. We played for 39 minutes of the first half. And an opportunity for West Ham to draw level. You can feel the tension. This is a critical moment. Plenty of eyes on this at the top of the Premier League table this afternoon. What can Manuel Lanzini do against Mendy? You gave away the penalty. Here comes Lanzini with the right foot, he scores! Between them, Jared Bowen and Manuel 
Paolo Lanzini have seen to it that they have been punished. The leaders peg back just before the break. West Ham won, Chelsea won. Well, something was always going to happen quite big with Chelsea. The way they've been, I want to use the word, fannying at the back. Totally needless what they were doing, to be perfectly honest. They've gone and done that. Think to yourself, okay, there's going to maybe an opportunity, but you think something weren't going to be that bad, they were going to get a penalty out of it, and they got the penalty out of it because of Jorginho overplaying, trying to overthink a situation, trying to be too clever with something. It was a needless pass back to his goalkeeper. I question why the goalkeeper didn't row it, kick it into Rowett behind him, out for a goal kick, and stick a finger in Jorginho's face and say, What are you doing? There. There were a lot of things wrong there. I, you know. I, wanted, I wanted more time to say more, but you stopped me. No, 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 no absolutely. Well, you've itemised them all beautifully, like a like a receipt. You know, opportunity to make a decision, wrong decision. Jorginho takes the wrong decision. Mendy makes possibly two wrong decisions. And again, you you perceive Tuchel's Chelsea as being this kind of machine where that sort of thing doesn't happen. But even in the best and the most well-oiled machines. When you, when you have to play that style, things go wrong. I certainly do. What it needs is a do dodgy Loftus cheek away down the right. CX got some space. CX shoots. Blocked by Dawson. Comes out to Jorginho. Now Havertz shoots. It's going to run loose in the six-yard box and gathered by Fabianski. Well, now West Ham's defence melts away. Yeah, no, it just needs just to calm down a bit. Don't all get embroiled with what the fans are saying. And to be honest... Zuma's saying that he's telling him to calm down because he was looking to try and go and it was Antonio one against two sorry you just don't go and do that you just keep the ball two or three minutes to go at normal time just take your time use those minutes to get yourself a little bit of composure back oh. that's a foul is it on Antonio no, not a, given no, a, no, 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 no 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 it was a comedy moment right, okay he fell over yeah fair enough yeah. Uh, that's, that, might, that might have been a handball against Reese James but it's going to be a West Ham throw Three minutes of the first half to go. There's been a lot going on in this first 45 minutes here on BBC Radio London Sport on Digital. The women's sports show is getting underway, or is already well underway, on uh, 94.9 FM, an FA Cup special uh, in the women's sports show. If you want to catch that, there's loads of great stuff in there. Uh, it'll be on BBC Sounds a little bit later on. But this is an equally good offering on digital radio. West Ham won, Chelsea won. The Hammers levelling through Manuel Lanzini's penalty after the opening goal from Thiago Silva. Here's Mendy, oh, he's put it out from the back pass to Christensen. Mendy didn't fancy it, and he, well, he's put it into Rose Z, which is what you said he should have done in, in the first place. Probably didn't need to that time. Yeah, but you've got to remember, at London Stadium, Rose Z is very close to the pitch. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, um, it's a throw-in to West Ham on the far side. Edouard Mendy's having a few collie wobbles. It comes across looking for Suchek. Important header away by Thiago Silva, and then Loftus Cheek completes the clearance. Rice back to Zumu. Pumps a header forward. Cleared by Christensen. Oh, Zuma Tower! That's amazing! Soared through the air like Superman. Antonio with his back to goal. Running away from trouble. West Ham with the wind at their backs now that they've settled down since the equaliser. Here's Soufal. Forward to Bowen, right side, being watched by Rudiger. Bowen scampers in field. Rudiger's following him all the way. As he made some space out on this right side for Soufal, maybe. Rice runs beyond him. <laughs> Soufal makes a little bit of progress. Back heel. Oh, and Rudiger and Bowen are tangling. Uh, off the ball, miles off the ball, that. They're still going at it. And West Ham is still in possession of the football. 90 seconds of the first half to go, one each. Here's Suchek. Goes back to Dawson. And Rice takes over. Oh, it's a poor pass. Suchek can't get hold of it. And Loftus Cheek is moving forward now. But Chelsea switches it right to left. Ziek brings it down. It strikes Soufal, but Ziek still got the ball. Lofts it into the uh, box. And a drive into the net by Mason Mount with it. A first touch. That's an exceptional strike by the Chelsea player. He was unmarked, but he had a lot to do. And as the ball was lifted over the West Ham defenders, just volleyed that past Fabianski to put Chelsea back in front with seconds left in this first half. It's a brilliant cross by Ziyech and Mount on his own but with plenty left to do just laps the ball into the net. West Ham 1, Chelsea 2.
Well, that was just ridiculous how that's come about. West Ham are in good possession. Declan Rice has played a little ball in towards Craig Dawson. Craig Dawson' mindset was, I've got to get back in my position. So he practically runs straight past the ball, and that ball has gone over. I mean, that is absolutely, we have to say, absolutely incredible that is what he's done there Finish. he hasn't gone with his laces he's gone with his instep and he's gone to the near post don't blame the goalkeeper talk about the quality of Mason Mount to find that space that is a ridiculous goal that is ridiculous and I tell you what there's every chance if he tried that again he'd mostly hit the side net him he, he just oh, I mean that was where it's gone it's absurd it, honestly it was unsavable absolutely unsavable and let's that. remember it's it's one touch out of the sky and yeah. a clear blue sky, he hasn't brought it under control because he hasn't actually whacked it in. As you say, he's placed it with the instep. Absolutely. That is an extraordinary it is. goal. It is absolutely fantastic goal. I must say. You know, it's it's one of those. You show that to youngsters. You say, you know, you think you're all that, do you? Can you do this? No. Will you stay out there a little bit longer until you can? Ben Johnson's coming off, I think. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. And West Ham have just shot a goal straight from the kickoff. Well, there's all sorts going on. Ben Johnson's going down the tunnel, presumably for some treatment. And Antonio has just tried his luck from the halfway line, Pele style. Yeah, a bit odd, I don't quite know what, yeah, what yeah, the yeah. point that was yeah. either. Yeah. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. West Ham are a player down. And Arthur Masuaku is being readied uh, to come on. So West Ham will, I think, stick with the five eventually. Yeah, so it must be a problem. Uh, maybe Johnson had that problem, which is why Mount had such space. I mean, you can't argue with the finish, but maybe he shouldn't have been found unmarked in that area. Not really. That was the area where you expect maybe Ben Johnson to be, or maybe it's a deop to be in that vicinity if he wasn't there. But there was no one there, and that's why, saying that, you could have been close to him. He was, he was always going to hit that first time, yeah, wasn't he? Yeah, it's true. It was, it's obscene really is here come Chelsea again down the right Havertz bursting into the penalty area Zuma's got to deal with it and Zuma and Fabianski between them do deal with it he's done great he's hurt himself he's got, he's got, he's got a dead fire by the way yeah he's hobbling a bit yeah, and, been... uh, um, Havertz is in a heap as well uh, off the pitch well, and now Havertz Zuma's off, gone down Havertz off the pitch isn't a problem it's the one on yeah, the pitch no, is the problem um, just it stops the play Mason Mount's going across to see if Havertz is OK. The Chelsea technical and uh, physio team have shot round the pitch. And uh, Antonio Rudy was having a moment at the fourth official about something, and Kurt Zoom is injured. The thing about this first 45 minutes, Paul, is that anything can happen? Because it feels, not, not because it's been a boring game, it feels like we've had a, a, quite a bit of incident in this opening 45 minutes, enough for a whole game really with the with the goals, the quality of the strikes, the uh, Ben Johnson removing himself, Antonio trying to score from the halfway line, there's been a lot going on. There has been a lot going on, we can talk about Chelsea, how long they've had the ball, you know, the way they've kept the ball I should say, but we can talk about Chelsea, how many times they've tried to give it to West Ham, out, you know, trying to play from the back. Yeah. And, uh, I tell you, there's a lot of people who are thinking like I'm thinking. We all play in a certain way, saying if we can attract a situation, and then once we attract it, then go and do something, use the advantage of that, and then gain you're gaining space somewhere else. But they keep overplaying it, and a, but no one's going long anymore. There's nothing wrong, no embarrassment in going long from the back, nothing at all. And sometimes playing a percentage pass. It's almost like a sort of a. a, a it's a must-do people. Faith, you know, article of faith, isn't it? Yeah, it's like someone now saying, I'm going to go out and I'm going to put myself, I'm going to put a pair of flare jeans on and some platform shoes. And I don't care that skinny jeans are in with a nice pair of trainers. <laughs> I'm just going to wear what I'm, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wear that. And people that people are not allowing it. They're scared to go back. They're staying in fashion with football. You go to the National, you go to the National League, they're doing it in there. Right, um, in amongst all of that, Havertz is still being treated, Zuma's going to come back on in a minute, and I was going to say we were going to have two minutes to stop his time, but they've gone, and the referee's blown his whistle for half-time. And it is West Ham 1, Chelsea 2, after a action-packed first 45 minutes here uh, at London Stadium. Half-time, it's West Ham 1, Chelsea 2. Pretty bubbles in here. They fly close.
Remember the glory. From the Academy of Football to the champions of Europe, where our players became giants of the game and changed it forever, wearing our famous claret and blue. 60 years on, we wear the pride. We wear the passion. We wear the history whilst making our own. We're the greatness. Right, you lot, today's a big day because we know West Ham United is all about putting in the hard work. Grafting for the bag. Yes, let's do it! And you've worked hard. Early starts, late finishes. Oh, I've seen it, Hayden. Hey. Tireless, selfless craft. We're not just cooking on the pitch. We're cooking off it too. And you do it all on your own, don't you? Well, not anymore. It's not just about the badge on your shirt. It's about what you wear on your sleeve and what that represents. Because this club don't exist without you. You pillars of the community. You champions of industry. You beautiful business owners. Now get out there and show me what you've got! Ah, London. Real London. Nobody stays a stranger. The Bow Bells. Our London calling. More than just a place. The cotton call heard far and wide. Graft and dedication together for the ride. Born here, raised or made here, this is home. Our differences unite us, wherever we may roam. Our spirit strong, our pride runs deep. In our London, it's our dreams we keep. Through highs and lows, we rise and shine. Beyond these streets, the bow bells chime. West Ham United legend Jimmy Walker has got himself in a spot of bother. Hello, car, car insurance, how can we help? The company motor's broken down, it's match day. I know just the company for the job. NWVA. The fastest, most efficient, cost effective vehicle assistance company in the UK. Right, Jimmy, let's get into this game, eh? Nice one, Tom. A bar. NWVA are proud partners of West Ham United. I think Romelu Lukaku's the answer to Chelsea. Um, perhaps not having the physicality further forward, he has come on to replace Kai Havertz, who was injured in that little tangle with Kurt Zuma at the end of the first half. He has a very, very good record uh, against West Ham. Nine Premier League goals uh, against the Hammers. He's had this uh, injury layoff and he's been on the bench for the last few games. He comes on today with Chelsea leading by two goals to one uh, at the interval. Uh, we're underway for the second half with Manuel Lanzini and Declan Rice uh, getting things underway and that's the second change of the game. West Ham made one in the first half uh, as well. I'll run you through the two lineups. Fabianski in goal for the Hammers. Back three, Dawson, Zuma, Diop. Wingbacks, Kufal or Sufal, sorry, and Matsuaku. Rice and Suchek in the middle. Bowen and Lanzini with Antonio further forward. Uh, Mondi's in charge for uh, uh, the goal for... Chelsea are back three of Christensen, Silva and Rudiger with James and Alonso wide. Loftus-Cheek and Jorginho in the middle. Ziyech and Mount supporting Lukaku. On the, the ball's uh, dropped to Masuaku on the halfway line. He's walked away from Mason Mount. He scored that wonderful goal. He's hobbling rather badly, but the game continues. The bench for West Ham. Arioli, Yarmolenko, Fornals, Vlasic, Noble, Benrama and Kral. Oh, and Harrison Ashby, by the way, the young uh, defender. And for Chelsea, Ariza Balaga, Pulisic, Werner, Saul, Barkley, Hudson Adoy, Aspilicueta, and Saar. We are underway for this second half here on the home of London football. This is BBC uh, Radio London, and West Ham trailing by two goals to one have it on this near side. It's with Masuaku, runs round 
Rhys James and makes some progress. Sends it infield for Antonio, turns it forward. Is Suchek onside as he makes progress down the flank? Well, he might have been caught by Loftus-Cheek, but he was offside anyway. As I suspected, the flag, as ever, is a little late arriving um, for reasons best known to those helpful people who make the decisions in these games. Uh, it's played short, the free kick, and Rudiger has gone really long with it. Zuma comes across, clatters the ball into the sky, and out of play, no, kept in play by Alonso, helped on by Ziyech, headed clear by Dawson. Lanzini gives it to Soufal. So one back by Jorginho, Mount helps it on, Lukaku's first touch is to keep the ball alive for Chelsea on that flank. And Alonso will play it square back to Rudiger. Uh, on the halfway line. How will this change Chelsea's approach having Lukaku forward, do you think, Paul Parker? I think it will slow it up. I think it makes it a little bit easier for the back three because he lumbers across the front. He hasn't got the same movement as Havertz. He's not as good on the ball as Havertz. He's not going to get on his first touch. He's not going to get him out of trouble and then play somebody in, in and around the box. He's looking for balls coming in from wide. He's very prominent in the way he wants the ball. He's like a school child with his arm up in the air. Zuma, the back three will fancy it against him. They'll, they'll go up against him. They know they can bully him a bit. Not bully him. They know they can go strong against him because he's going to want to match him. So I think in a way for West Ham's back three, it makes their job a little bit, a little bit more easier. Here is Zuma. He will probably have the primary task of dealing with Lukaku. Bowen brings this down well inside the centre circle. He's held off Rudiger. In fact, he's drawn a foul. No, Free, no in fact, there's not another offside flag out. Of course, there is. Um, wow, that was this. that was a shallow line they kept there. By the way, look what that offside is. Yeah, it's, it's right next to the edge of the centre circle. Well, they yeah. moved it back a little bit now. Mm. Andre Mariner saying you've got to go back a, a fraction. Uh, we played for three second half minutes. West Ham one, Chelsea two in the early kickoff here on the home of London football. Here's Rudiger, who gets the free kick played short to him. Thiago Silva, who's got all the uh, plaudits for the first goal. And now Loftus Cheek finds Ziek and wide to the left hand side. Now Marcus Alonso in a crossing position with Lukaku waiting for it. It'll flick ball down the channel. Ziek goes scampering after it. Ziek's cross is blocked by Dawson. It's a Chelsea corner. It's their first of the second half, their fifth of the game. Down the left. Ziyech will right-footed swing this in. A reminder that Chelsea's first goal came from a set-piece very, very much like this one. And Thiago Silva, again, is going to make this late run. I think Antonio is responsible for picking him up. I think he was responsible for picking him up for the first goal. This comes in, it bounces awkwardly and comes off a... What was it? Chelsea came off an up West Ham, but West Ham players let it go out thinking it was going to be a uh, goal kick. But it's another corner to Chelsea there second in quick succession that must have come off Antonio oh it came off uh, the hip of Antonio I think in the end here's another corner left footed out swinger uh, this time towards the edge of the six yard box flicked away by West Ham and then Lanzini completes the clearance to halfway sent back in by Christensen bounces awkwardly Soufal can bring it down on his chest and volley the ball clear bow in the target it's mopped up by Christensen, and then Suchek finds Antonio on the halfway line. Shrugs off one defender and moves forward. This is better, and now Bowen could be set away here, but Loftus-Cheek to the rescue, and the flag was up anyway. It's the third time West Ham have been caught offside by Chelsea in the opening minutes of the game. A little high five between Rudiger and Loftus-Cheek. See this again. Is he offside? Oh, he's Bowen? offside. Yeah, he's made a run. He shouldn't have done that, Bowen, yeah, by the way. About. Should have left him on his own. I will say, though, going back to that Man United game, Man United had a situation like that with Ronaldo. He went all the way through, he was offside. He, they, he went at, Silver's made a tackle, gone out for a corner. Man United got the corner, didn't get pulled back, and it was offside. So Tuchel there is clapping. He's clapping that situation, but he's saying to himself, There you are, you made a mistake. Right. Because if they had gone and scored from that corner, there would have been problems. Yeah, absolutely. West Ham have it back, trailing 2 1. Sufal sweeps this wow. forward. Bowen traps it, finds Suchek. The ball's being whipped with some pace at the moment as West Ham come forward. Suchek's want to throw on that far side. So one change each for these two teams. Masuaku for Johnson for West Ham and Lukaku for Havertz. Both enforced, really, 
because the two players came off with injuries. Lukaku may have been introduced anyway. This comes back to Issa Diop for West Ham, just inside his own half of the field. Into Masuaku, who's playing as a left wing back. West Ham have changed formation today. They've gone with a three at the back, so Issa Diop's come in. Zuma and Dawson have been the first choice centre half pairing for a little Ooh. while in the absence of Angelo Ogbonna. Declan Rice has it inside his own half of the field now for West Ham. Bit of space for Dawson to run into. Now Soufal on halfway, has to turn away. Uh, from traffic comes back to Fabianski little West Ham fan and West Ham fan Junior just having their photographs taken away to our right uh, Junior's in one of those um, rucksacks you stick your little son or daughter on uh, behind you he's having a great day isn't he <laughs> with his dad absolutely brilliant not got a great view of the pitch I suppose behind his dad's head but uh, he's got a packet of crisps he's fine in fact this goes to Mendy away to our left hand side and this is where Chelsea have created problems for themselves with playing out from the back, but <coughs> West Ham have not put any real pressure on the back line. They're doing a bit more now. He's had to go back to Mendy, and he's just slowed down. Benjamin Mendy doesn't know where to clip it exactly. Goes a bit longer for Lukaku, who's been fouled by Zuma on the halfway line. Free kick to Chelsea on the edge of the centre circle. And Zuma doesn't really have to do that. For someone like, for me, up against someone like Lukaku, you would want him to see if he controlled it, and then you would try and see if you can take it off of him. If you can't, he's on the halfway line. Yeah. He's not a problem, he's no. going to pass it back. Don't give away cheap fouls. That was a cheap foul in a fairly innocuous position. As it'll flip by him out, finds Loftus-Cheek, who rides the challenge, and breaks into the West Ham penalty area, and tries to cut it back. There's an interception by Declan Rice, who goes steaming forward battling there with Rhys James, the two of them going at it, and uh, Rhys James has been pursued back to Mendy, and Antonio's going to chase this back pass, but the goalkeeper's off his line quickly to clear, and then Zuma's back header doesn't find Fabianski, but he'll get there in the end. Again, I just think West Ham are, but there's going to be an opportunity come up for them, there is going to be something at the moment, and for me they've got to go and take it, got to go and take it when it comes up. Chelsea are not really playing of any great purpose anywhere, nowhere near what they were in the first half. They seem to be a little bit sitting back a little bit deeper. The, f the forward play in the um, in their attacking third is nowhere near the same as it was in the first half. Havertz has made a difference on the attacking emphasis, without a doubt. He had to come off because of that injury. It's 2-1 to Chelsea. Here's Antonio on the halfway line in West Ham colours. Moves away from James. He's going to try and seek out Soufal here. Soufal brings it down, here's Bowen, Bowen slides the oh. ball forward, oh, it's gone behind Lanzini, he's got to react quicker to that because Rudiger's burst past him and he's leading a counter-attack here for Chelsea, Rudiger's run a really long way and Ziyech gets underneath that and puts it into the Chelsea fans behind that goal, he was kind of toppling backwards as he struck it, Antonio Rudiger left Manuel Lanzini in the dust. I mean, if this was like American football, the amount of forays he made, the yardage he makes over the games is by... um by Rudiger's incredible when he runs with the ball in the end it was he was running too fast when he made the pass it wasn't the best pass was it <laughs> to Ziyech he I mean, I, struggled with it I didn't think he thought he would still be going at that speed yeah. at the point of the pitch he'd reached but he got carried virtually to within about 16 yards of goal and then suddenly realised I'm going to have to offload this yeah, exactly and right. I'm going to have to offload this for someone to shoot and that is not straightforward well, how, how quick is he without the ball? <laughs> Soufal goes long as he's headed away by Thiago Silva as far as uh, Dawson. It's going to bring it by him. Oh, Bowen scores! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant for West Ham! There was a hesitation on the edge of the penalty area for Chelsea after the ball forward from Soufal caused problems and he dropped to Bowen yeah, on his left foot and he lashes it past Mendy to equalise to the Hammers with 10 second half minutes played wonderful goal by Jared Bowen what a game West Ham 2 Chelsea 2 I turned around and said there'd be a chance I got that really wrong by the way it was a half chance and he made something of a half chance with something that any other player who's any other player of a big name in football they'll be raving about it that was so instinctive what he's just done there didn't even think about it, just hit it first time 
and I tell you what, Mendy never saw it because everyone was in his way. His player was in his way, he didn't see it too late. He saw it as it was going past him. But the power he's hit that with was absolute incredible. Going through the legs of Christensen didn't help either. They will show that over and over and over again. Mason Mounts was brilliant. Technically, Mounts was unbelievable. That was still sensational. What a cracking little player Jared Bowen is. And, well, this is two each. And the game's afoot. <laughs> 35 minutes left. Was, you, was that kind of a, a Jeremy Brett moment? A Jeremy Brett? Yeah, game is afoot. <laughs> you don't know what I mean, do you? You're you too lost, young, isn't you? You've lost me. Sherlock Holmes. Oh, right. Jeremy oh, okay. Brett is Sherlock Holmes. Oh, OK. Right. Right. This is obviously part of my Christmas viewing. I'll have to catch up with no, that. But it's, on, it's on mostly during the week, isn't it? Oh, OK. Yeah, <laughs> ITV4. Enough. Excellent. Yeah, it's good. I do enjoy a recommendation from you, Paul, I, as we know. I met him in 1991. Did you really? I met him there at Hotel in Manchester. Fantastic. Yeah. Here come Chelsea. James. Well, they only conceded six goals all season, Chelsea. They've conceded two today. Here's Mount into the penalty here. Cuts it back. Oh, it's a real scramble. It's come off Soufan and could have gone anywhere. It runs out of the far side. Oh, that touch off of Soufan made such a difference. Took it away from Ziyech. Here's... Uh, Ziek again. Now Rudiger. Loftus cheek gets dispossessed. Oh, it's going to run loose though for Reese James. This is fascinating. Here's Mount, right side. Crossed by James. All missed by Zuma. And Lukaku might get round Dawson, but Dawson uses his backside brilliantly. There are some things that you use your backside for in football, and that is one of them. It's to get in between Romelu Lukaku in the football, six yards from goal. Well, you just have to get everything up in front of you when he's around. He was just going to bulldoze his way through, by the way. Craig Dawson has done absolutely fantastic there. And I'm just watching the replay. That touch there, which could have gone in the goal, but it was enough to take it away, I think, from Ziyech on the far post. Bowen nearly gets round Thiago Silva, but it's cleared. Here is Rice, Lanzini driving forward, here's Bowen, tries to lay it off, well he's won it back again, Jared Bowen, he's everywhere at the moment, through the centre of the field, given to Antonio, just about finds Diop, again Paul Parker living every moment of that, Antonio spins, uh, he's, he's got Christensen with him, <laughs> quite well, he's hold on to possession, and then that's a foul by Thiago Silva on Jared Bowen. Free kick, West Ham, ten yards inside the Chelsea half. And that's going to be used on TikTok. Is it TikTok? It is. It's going to be Not used. TikTok. That's the mint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I'll, I'll tell you what. Even James Collins' Nexus was laughing as well. He was laughing yeah. what Antonio had done. Yeah, he, was, he was trying to turn away from Christensen, and he kept the ball, but he didn't quite go as he would have yeah. wanted. Now, here's a free kick to West Ham. We've played for an hour at London Stadium and it's West Ham 2, Chelsea 2 and Lanzini with the delivery and Dawson and Suchek are behind it, Dawson heads it up in the air, Suchek's going to try and get near it, Mendy's lost it and then he's gathered it with Suchek in close attendance. Yeah, they definitely put Chelsea, Chelsea a, a different side to the first half. I think it is a little bit about Havertz, but there's a little bit more urgency now about West Ham going forward. Antonio's doing a better job across that front line now, but Bowen was a difference in the first half for West Ham. He is still the difference, but an even bigger difference now, or better, I should say, than what he was in the first half for what he's doing for West Ham. Ziyech for Chelsea. Wide to Alonso on that left-hand side comes back to Rudiger and West Ham have retreated again the next changes that these two managers make are going to be fascinating Loftus Cheek skips in field chips it wide to Ziyech edge of the penalty area fires it a low cross helped away by Zuma's hip I think oh, again brilliant from Bowen finds Rice who steers it wide and then down the channel Antonio can't get on the end of it it's tidied up by Thiago so you want Bowen on that flank really didn't you to for him to yeah. set away but the problem was there he got he was going into an area there Declan oops, here go. goes Mount again in comes the cross and he's put behind by Zuma for a corner could have flown into the net but Zuma got good contact another Chelsea corner but he was just stuck in the touchline right Declan Rice there there's only one area he could put the ball and all of a sudden Antonio wakes up to it he should have seen that early 
and just migrated across to that kind of vicinity and he didn't go and do it by the time he decided to it was too late yeah. Declan Rice was telling him you've got to be anticipating exactly right Mouse right footed corner swings out flicked away by Zuma back into the mix by Ziek, headed away by Rice for West Ham Christensen the only man back Bowen after it and Christensen sent this back to Mendy all on his own uh, inside the Chelsea half of the field he sweeps it away quickly Masuaku jumping to nod it clear from Mount collected by Loftus-Cheek and Chelsea come forward again played for 16 second half minutes West Ham have come from behind twice it's two all here's Jorginho given to James right side and Mount's outside him here is the England attacking player back to James sends it forward for Loftus-Cheek clips it into the head of Masuaku comes back to Mount, right side. Twists and gives it to James. And now Jorginho, 30 yards from West Ham's goal. Everyone except Antonio behind the ball for the Hammers. Chelsea probing, testing, trying to find a gap. Antonio has barged over Loftus-Cheek there. Strikes me as an unfortunate thing to do in that position because now Chelsea have got a set-piece to, to work. I'm just going to say it wasn't clever, really. No. I had a go at mention about Ogbonna giving a, giving that something up like that. I'm um, against Brentford in that similar area. He gave one away in the last seconds of the game, and it cost him dearly. Yeah, dealing. it did. Antonio's just got to be a little bit more proactive in what he's doing. Do his work early. He's left it late there, and then he just made a challenge from behind in his shoulder. And to be honest, Reese James now is being kind of known for his dead ball, dead ball delivery. Callum Hudson Odoi is going to come on for Chelsea. Here's the free kick. Oh, that's been. <laughs> I've, just, I've given it everything. Yeah, there, that, that, has, that has gone very badly wrong for Rhys James. Overcooked it completely. Goal kick. As we got, have we gone that technical that we can rewind and now everyone takes it out of their heads and we start again? If we all lived in a skybox. Yeah. But we could just press rewind, start yeah. again. But unfortunately, um, unfortunately not. Chelsea change. Hakim Ziyech is coming off. Callum Hudson Odoi is coming on in his place. Chelsea's second change. It's another offensive reshuffle. What it does, it, it just makes them a little bit more direct with Hudson Odoi. He's definitely his game has definitely come on a lot more so since Tuchel's come there. He's definitely prog he's progressed more as a player because he was coming a little bit one-dimensional at one point but now he's moving all into all different kind of the areas all different areas I should say on the park to gain possession and to go at goal right the West Ham subs doing some relatively untaxing warm-ups <laughs> are Ben Rama let's try to see who that is uh, it might be Harrison Ashby um, uh, Fornals is there as well Fornals is jogging he's played forward almost Masuaku almost releasing Bowen he anticipates so well, Jarabo. He's constantly making those runs as Loftus Cheek skips forward and finds Lukaku wide on the right. Here comes Chelsea. Hudson Adoy's in the penalty area. Taking over here is Mount to the byline. The cross is headed clear by Declan Rice. It's going to be collected by Bowen. Who, um, Bowen peels away uh, from Rudiger. And Antonio has it on the halfway line. And he can't quite hold it up. Between them, James and Christensen dispossess him there were appeals for a foul not given by the referee here come Chelsea again with Jorginho you listen to BBC Radio London and it's West Ham 2 Chelsea 2 Chelsea in front through Thiago Silva the equaliser from Lanzini from the penalty spot Mount made it 2-1 Bowens made it 2 each Loftus-Cheek coming forward for Chelsea Jorginho given to uh, Rudiger Jorginho again again West Ham pull everybody back behind the ball Rhys James into Mount Lukaku with his back to goal back to James and now Hudson Odoi's got a little bit of space to operate in on the edge of the box gets held up sets it back for Mount who clips it forward it's headed clear by Lanzini for West Ham comes out to Hudson Odoi again Soufal's with him again West Ham letting Chelsea have the majority of the possession really but they've shown they can hurt Chelsea. Hudson Adoy again, left side, running at Soufal, edge of the box, into the box, and now it's driven by Mount straight at Fabianski. Chance for Chelsea. It was a chance, a little bit sloppy, two of them facing up to Hudson Adoy. 
as he's running at them and that left that left that space for Mount. To be honest, Mount has, hasn't had any influence at all so far in this game, but he, he was almost something was something happened just in front there of that defence, allowed him to pull off and then get the shot in. No power behind it, straight at Fabianski. Christensen and Antonio and Tangley again, and once again the crowd are asking for a free kick instead it's a throw into Chelsea no I just think that's more about his legs just going really Antonio he's really struggled against Christensen just as Rudiger is struggling against Bowen yeah. Rudiger's having the game he's having the toughest game he's had for a while by the way yeah because he's not getting aggressive he's not responding to what Rud Rudiger's doing he's just going playing his own game Rudiger yeah. wants he wants to wind people up and get confrontational Jared Bowen's not doing that. He's just kind of, just kind of running around him, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's just, yeah. just busy and industrious and anticipating. Rudiger's constantly having to check over his shoulder where Jared Bowen is. Jared Bowen's generally making kind of hint, uh, feints and hints and dashes forward. He was at the heart of that first West Ham equaliser. Antonio flicks this ball on, but only as far as Rhys James, who moves towards the halfway line, clips it forward, cut out by... Rice with three quarters of the way through this match it's 2-2 uh, and Loftus-Cheek is being well, held by Suchek really he was it was the first was one he let it go oh the side only saw the second yeah, one I thought that was done a second one played forward for Lukaku but Zuma's in charge of that just trodden his toe I think oh yeah Zuma's staggered off the pitch and gone to ground yeah I think Lukaku has just trodden on his toe the football boots are so flimsy these days that uh, it's going to hurt. Oh, back in my day, we had proper leather. Yeah, exactly. Where we had, there was kangaroo skin, there was everything. <laughs> kangaroo? No. Yeah, yeah, we had, yeah. They made football with good grief. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what they told us. That's, that's what, what they, they told, told you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was this then? Oh, it's, uh, it's kangaroo. Is it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tough, as, tough as old boots. Oh, yeah, really tough. Uh, oh, oh, OK. Oh, oh, kangaroo. Oh, I found help, that. Yeah, help me spring. Yeah. Very good. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Luka, um, Lukaku's kind of wandered off, saying, nothing to do with me. I wish he'd, he'd, I mean, the play's got to carry on now, that's the thing. Yeah, because... He, he should have stayed yeah, on the pitch. Zuma's been very, very good in that he's kind of, as he fell over, he staggered off the pitch, which is to his credit, other than the fact that West Ham are currently down 10. Um, oh, no, it looks like he's going to come off. Is that him done? Oh, dear. Looks, looks like it. I think so. Yeah. Just seeing, I don't know who that... Who's they that? bring in four nails back. Well, they'll go to a four, I think. Oh, well, yeah, that makes sense to go to a four. And then put four nails on. Is that four nails down there? I think it has is. to be. Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. Uh, oh, no, hold on a minute. He's up. Hope he got a good night's sleep. Pablo four nails. Zuma's back up. West Ham are down to ten. And the referee's given a throw in to West Ham deep inside Chelsea territory. Meanwhile, people are working no, out if no, Zuma can off, come. No, off. that's it. He's done. Yeah, he's done. Yeah. So West Ham have changed their formation. With just over 20 minutes to go, Pablo Fornals, who became a father recently and has um, probably had some disrupted sleep, to put it mildly. Or well, now is Fornals sitting down? He's sitting down, yep. Zuma's going to be OK. Yeah, it seems like it. Thunderous applause as this is sent into the uh, Chelsea box and gathered by Mendy, the goalkeeper. And poor old Zuma is desperately trying to come back on. He wants to come back onto the field of play. Fornals has oh. been sent back. And that's a foul by Bowen. Free kick Chelsea, 10 yards inside the West Ham half of the field. We're looking at the bench, we're looking at Zoom. He's tr literally trying to run it off. And every time he breaks into a trot, he pulls back up again. Well, I'll be honest, they need to make a decision quick. They by do, the way. because they he's certainly... a bit disjointed at the moment with uh, West Ham. And Chelsea are coming forward and James's cross is blocked. Masuaku can't stop it going out for a corner. It is a Chelsea corner. And what are they going to do here? I'll tell you what Chelsea are going to do. They're going to send on Christian Pulisic. Yeah, they're really not sure, and I think Zuma's battle to get back on the field of play uh, has been um, has been lost. Uh, so yeah, he can't carry on, Zuma. He's really frustrated, but he has to exit the play. Fornells, wearing number eight, comes on, and the first thing he's got to do. Uh, is uh, defend this corner. We're going to wait for Pulisic's entrance. We've got 25 minutes left. Or are yeah, we? No. no, here's Mount's delivery, and it's flicked away by Dawson, collected by Bowen on the edge of his own penalty area, shoulder to shoulder with 
Hudson Adoy was on a great pass. It's come back to Hudson Adoy. He's going to take on Bowen on that flank. And Ooh. Bowen's caught Hudson Adoy. It's a free kick. Bowen wanted to atone for the error in giving it away. But he's given away a free kick in a dangerous position. Well, I don't know. He's saying it's not just his reaction. Suggests to me he might not be. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty yeah, clumsy. Yeah, yeah, pretty clumsy. He doesn't touch the ball. He fooled me now. Can can I, we're a long way from it, Paul. Yeah, can I trust him, though? We're, we're, he, I nearly went with him. We're a long, that, long way from He's been that, that good is. today. I just yeah, I he's, trusted him. He's been him. superb, hasn't he? Uh, and the goal was exceptional. Um, but it's a free kick to Chelsea. This is in the balance, this one. Two each. Just under 20 minutes left. All sorts could go on. Free kick is sent in, headed away by Suchek. Drops to Alonso, who shot his blocks and Fornals is going to run it away with Lanzini and Fornals goes sprinting over the halfway line and there are Claren blue shirts galloping forward I think Fornals is going to be happy with the throw and he is yeah, Mason Mount's put it out yeah he stepped back he wasn't 100% sure and in certain ways he's made the right decision there not to go on with that foray even though Declan Rice was just on the inside of him Pulisic for Alonso so Ooh. I think they've and they've responded to West Ham's change haven't they, they I think they have by the way it's just that now I think Rudiger will go to the will go as a left back, won't he? Surely. It looks like it, yeah. They're not going to ask Hudson Adoy to play left wing back, are they? Or are they? I think Hudson no, Adoy no. no? No. Not as or not unless he goes as a wing back. Yeah, it looks like Hudson Adoy is a left wing back. Yeah. And um then no, they've kept the the three. Yeah, definitely. So uh, yeah, I, I was wrong about that. <laughs> then they've not responded to West Ham's uh, formation change. Just to clarify, West Ham have gotten to a back four. Masuaku now playing as a, as a left back with Fornells in front of him. But Chelsea have kept the three. We thought they were going to abandon it, but then we thought Kurzuma was coming back on for a bit, didn't we? So what, uh, so what you're saying is stop listening to us. We're not getting it yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. Anything we say is likely to be contradicted within a minute or so. Um, although, to be fair to Zuma, he was desperate to get back on the field, wasn't he? And oh, he, he kept trying to break into a run. And every time he put weight on that foot, he pulled up and he pulled a face, it was clearly hurting him. He's not playing Wednesday, by the way. So he's definitely uh, not playing, playing Wednesday, Wednesday. No, he's, he's playing, playing Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no, and of course, with old Bonner out, it'll be the Dawson and Diop show again, I would have thought, on, yeah. on Thursday. Or maybe they'll maybe they'll change it, because both of them have played quite a lot of football. Yeah, yeah and I think he Dawson might be, definitely has. He definitely might be worried about one of them getting injured Well, now. precisely. Yeah. With my, the busy, my, busy period coming My up. little bit of saying from a few weeks about, about maybe the... The best four combination, the best four centre backs collectively in the Premier League has got the pot now. Well, it's been tested, hasn't it? That, that assertion because they they're all being used, apart from uh, Angelo Albona, who of course we wish a speedy recovery to. Here's Pablo Fornells on the halfway line. It's BBC Radio London on a Saturday afternoon where it's 2-2 in the early kickoff between West Ham and Chelsea. It's fascinatingly poised. West Ham have come back from being behind twice. Long ball forward. Antonio doesn't get off the ground this time. Suchek sends it forward. Antonio nods it down. Here's Jared Bowen. Give it to Fornals and he's played in. Antonio right edge of the box. Hudson Adoy is brushed away. Low ball looking for Bowen. Oh, he's put it wide. The goal was gaping. It should be 3 2. Antonio's cross just had Bowen stretching a fraction. He made contact, but he couldn't direct it. And he started that work as well, Bowen, by winning the ball. And just about 10 yards in front of the edge of the box and he's gone round the far post and Tony has, has pulled it across he's done the right thing he's pulled it back just pull, pulling away towards the edge of the box always stretching Bowen he was stretching because he's worked so hard from the distance he's come from to make up that amount of ground from there is absolutely incredible what he's gone and done there big 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 chance for West Ham but just the way Hudson Adore, Hudson Adore, he was just knocked out of the way, weren't he? Oh, Bowen, brilliant again to do Hudson Adore on that side and Rudiger. He's playing them both on his own at the moment and he's been fouled by Hudson Adore. He's not enjoying life at left wing back at the moment. Free kick West Ham, 10 yards from the corner flag, down the right. I'll tell you what, I've, Rudiger's had a great season so far, but I'll tell you what, no one has done this to him, by the way. And what he's done there as well was out of order. What he's done. Now he's got away. That should be a Trot on his for, heel, yeah. yeah, for petulance. That. Goodness me, that Bowen chance is close. Just seeing it again, and he's he, he's put the ball into the ground as well to try and keep it uh, from doing it. We're going to update the situation in just a second. 
It's 2-2. Jared Bowen with a really flat delivery with a free kick on this right-hand side. And it's been cleared away. This is an absolutely fantastic occasion. I have to tell you, West Ham have come from behind twice. Bowen slings in another cross, uh, which Mendy comes and claims with Suchek driving towards the far post. West Ham really should be in front. Uh, Callum hudson Adoy, who's come on, has now had to play at left wing-back, was beaten to it by uh, Mikhail Antonio on that right side. He sent a cross in, and Bowen, who'd started the move, was sprinting into the six-yard box, made contact, but directed the effort just to the right of the goal frame. Chelsea took the lead after 28 minutes. Thiago Silva heading in a corner. West Ham equalised in the penalty spot uh, just before half-time through Manuel Lanzini, uh, and then... In just as we were about to enter stoppage time, Mason Mount put Chelsea 2-1 up with an excellent first-time in-step volley uh, that beat Fabianski. Uh, West Ham equalised 10 minutes into the second half. Jared Bowen with an almost as good a drive with his left foot uh, from the edge of the box. Mason Mount's forced to save from Fabianski. We've just seen Jared Bowen go close. Here comes Chelsea again with a Loftus-Cheek cross that flashes over everybody. Collected by hudson Adoy. He's going to break into the penalty area. Sets it back for Jorginho. Tries to place it and it just goes wide. It took a deflection, it's a corner, you can't take your eyes off it. 13 minutes to go, West Ham 2, Chelsea 2. Hey. It's a, sorry, I thought it, was, it went wide from Jorginho, but it was one of those efforts that took a deflection, could have gone anywhere. Here's the corner, Chelsea's ninth corner of the game, right-footed, uh, outswinger, and uh, it's headed by Loftus-Cheek and blocked on the line. Uh, by Suchet, comes out to Mount, his cross is deflected and Antonio's header is just too far in front of Fornals, tried to release him, there's a, Chelsea, there's a West Ham player down inside the box, he's clutching his head, referee stopped it, it's uh, Soufal, goodness me, Paul chances at both ends, Soufal's now being checked by Andre Mariner, could be a very nervy last 12 minutes or so. There's a lot at stake. Either of these two teams win this game. It's a massive victory. Oh, it is. Underlines if Chelsea can dig this out because they looked in trouble in the second half. West Ham can win it, obviously. It's a tremendous I return think, to form. I think the bigger win is West Ham, by the way. It's a big win. Oh, if they can I win think it, it's absolutely. a big statement for them to win this game. And to just kind of refuse to lie down. when Because yeah. generally, when Chelsea take the lead, everyone thinks, well, we're not going to score. So yeah. this is done. Uh, Soufal's OK, we're going to have a drop ball. And Chelsea See, were on the attack when it was stopped. The thing about it as well is that I want a proper drop ball. Contested? I want, yeah, I want it contested. They I want aggression, I want snarling. They gonna, I'm not sure that Reese James and Pablo Fornals are going to contest it. In fact, Fornals four is being no, no. waved away I by think, Andre Mariner. I, I think Fornals saw Reese James and he did it himself. He he said, no, he, you're all right, yeah. yeah Chelsea can have it. Yeah. <laughs> he worked, didn't need to be told. Thiago Silva drives forward. Given to Pulisic, back to Thiago Silva again, he's sent it wide. hudson Adoy's cross, he's headed up in the air by Masuaki, but not clear. Up goes Soufal, now Lanzini pops it out to the right. Bowen drives the ball downfield, collected by Rudiger. Back to Jorginho, powers forward for Chelsea. hudson Adoy rolls it forward, Pulisic pops up and cuts it back, but only as far as Suchek. The target was Lukaku, it never got there. Steered forward, ah, no, by Bowen, straight back to the Chelsea back line who stepped forward. I will ask, what is Jared Bowen doing as a right back? He's, he's everywhere at the he's moment. He's having an isn't incredible he? game, but. Yeah, he, he needs to ration his resources. Here come Chelsea again. Jorginho, 30 yards from goal, into Lukaku, back to goal, Mount, Pulisic, what, round the corner. Hudson Adoy, edge of the box. He's going to lift this out to Loftus Cheek, who nods it down. And a yard of space here for Mount. Oh, and he can't turn and drive it towards goal. Kept in play, though. Here's Hudson Adoy. And now Rudiger clips in across. Lukaku's header is tame and over the top. Ten minutes left. It's West Ham 2, Chelsea 2. So, in the fact of now we look at West Ham, look, West Ham looked the more likely team to score just on the counter attack, and more importantly, when Jared Bowen gets in yes. and around the goal. We look at Chelsea, they have totally digressed, haven't they, really, as an attacking force since that substitution. Lukaku has killed their, has killed their momentum, has killed their passages of play, the way they were intricate around the box, splitting West Ham all over the place, for then to cut, cut through the holes and make opportunities. That has been lost. Everything now is about getting the cross in. It's all they're doing is looking to get the cross in and hoping that their big man can get his head on it. A year or so ago in the lockdown, uh, 
Chelsea were beaten 3-2 here by West Ham. Andre Yarmolenko with a late winner. It was Antonio Rudiger he took out to lunch before the goal, actually, as well. But here come Chelsea, looking to re-establish an advantage. It's with Hudson-Odoi, left edge of the box now. Low cross, looks for Lukaku, cleared by uh, West Ham to the touchline. <coughs> Here's Jorginho. Just wondering if there's any more players coming on. Saeed Benrahma is being readied down there. He's the next change for the Hammers. He could come on and produce something, although here comes Pulisic breaking forward, cut out by Soufal, and here's Bowen <laughs> turboing downfield, good challenge by Rudy here, it's a West Ham throw. He's turboing with five people around him there, wasn't he? Is, he? like that famous shot of Maradona with all those yeah. um, Dutch players looking at him, yeah, not, not quite the same, but... What, because he's because Maradona and he's Jared Bowen? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, in point, right. in point of fact, yes. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a... Uh, change to be made for West Ham now Craig Dawson's having a moment and Ben Rama is going to come on uh, Kevin Nolan's giving some instructions oh that's good though that's, that's fantastic Kevin well done yeah, the, the, I think the iPad's out is it what Kevin yeah they've got the iPad down there all mod cons uh, there's now a West Ham player down injured it's Antonio looks like he's got cramp here come Chelsea though with James whose cross is behind hudson Adoy. I think, I think Antonio's done, you know. I think he was the one who's going to come off yeah. anyway, and Bowen will go and play in that role. His mount challenged by Masuaku, that goes out for a goal, a goal kick. kick, yeah. Andre Mariner hasn't got a clue. I'm no, wondering if it was a... off the keep, off the defender or the attacking player. He wasn't sure, was he? His arms were down by his side and he was looking for help. It's got to be, he's going The assistant in front of the Chelsea fans as well, Brave Soul, gives the goal kick West Ham's way. And Sai Ben Rama. It has to be has to be Antonio that goes off. Surely. Looks like it. He's he's not moving well, Antonio, on the far side. Um, he's still out there at the moment. Ben Rama's waiting. It's uh, given to Bowen, and fourth thought Fornals was going to break oh, through yeah. there. <laughs> well, it might come back to them again, West Ham, and Bowen's herring forward down the left. Christensen with him. Bowen makes progress and wins a corner, does he, or has that come off, Bowen? Again, Andre Mariner hasn't got a clue, and the assistant hasn't got a clue oh. either, and the goal kick's been given. I'll tell you what, if Jared Bowen had grabbed hold of that ball, instead of put, he's put, looking up at the sky, knowing that it's bounced off of him, he would have got the corner. Yeah, they, 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 again, neither of them had a clue. The assistant or the referee. Here's Rice to Antonio, who I don't oh. think is moving very well, but he's, uh, he's held that up, he's trying to play a pass for Soufal, who's racing after it, hudson Doy can't get hold of it, Soufal inside the box, the cross is uh, half-charged down by the Chelsea left wing-back, he's having a horrible time on that side of the field, West Ham throw, six minutes left. Soufal's going to take this throw, this one might come in, oh no, it's going to be oh. played shot, it's a terrible throw by Soufal, cleared, uh, by Rudiger, out for another West Ham throw. Still we wait for Ben Rudd. I think they're hoping that Antonio can run whatever it is off. No, I think they're going to make the change. Another piece of paper has been... Ha a little, looks a little bit chewing gum paper has been handed to Sai Ben Rama. And it's Lanzini who come. I think they wanted to check that Antonio yeah. was OK before the change. And Lanzini's coming off. And Sai Ben Rama comes on in his place but Lanzini scored the penalty and it was a big moment that to bring West Ham back into it they got the belief that Chelsea could be hurt and that there were defensive vulnerabilities to be fair Chelsea went down the other end and scored fairly quickly and Ben Rama it is who's had a long wait down there and he comes on to the uh, acclaim of the West Ham supporters He's going to make his way onto the field of play and have a little chat with Pablo Fornals and Declan Rice about what's... Oh, the piece of paper is for Rice. That's what's been uh, transported by Ben Rama. Here's the throw, Ooh. and Bowen has done brilliantly again, and he oh. sends it across, it's over everyone. It really is the Jared Bowen show on that side. He's just creating chances on his own, but he, he's got to be in the box to put them in as well. I know, I mean, that's, that's a bit he's got to work on, though. Crossing and being there to finish. Yep. Being in two places at once. Yep, yeah, yep. It's, a, it's a difficult trick to master. Yep. 
I mean, he's done great there. He's, he's just made something out of nothing there from a throw in towards yeah. the byline. His, his first touch was to bring the ball back inside. Here's Jorginho. What did. Uh, what was that instruction to Declan Rice, I wonder? He's read it and he's put it in his pocket. Suchek's won this back. He's given it to uh, Fabianski. And he's set forward, headed clear by Rudiger. And Rice gets the better of Pulisic. Sends the ball forward. Ben Rama, Fornals, sweeping ball. Christensen's got to be careful and he hacks it away with Antonio on his shoulder. West Ham throw, level with the edge of the box. Masuaku takes it quickly, gets it back from Antonio. Wants to cross, gets held up. Antonio's with him, he overlaps one way, then the other. The cross! Oh, it's gone in! Oh, that's incredible! <laughs> Masuaku shoots from an impossible angle! And Mendy gets his legs all wrong and can only plant the ball into the net! I don't believe it! West Ham lead for the first time this afternoon with three and a half minutes to go. And Masuaku just sent it in from the left, thinking it was a cross. And Mendy suddenly found himself pushing the ball into his own net. West Ham 3, Chelsea 2. I'll tell you what, I'm I'm not having that, to be honest, really. I've been involved in this. I've done something like that. I can remember all my goals, by the way. But that was... I think he was going for a cross. He waited for 80 for Antonio to go around him to create space. He's saying... He goes by saying, go over, overlap, overlap to take him away. He gets taken away, Rhys James. He's trying to cross it. I'm really sure he's trying to cross that. Absolutely, if he meant it, fantastic. Arthur Masuaku has scored from wide out on the left for West Ham to put them in front. 3-2 with two and a half minutes to go. It looked like a cross all over. I'm sure it was a cross, but very late it veered towards Edouard Mendy's goal and all Mendy could do was backpedal and push it into his own net. I think it across the line. It's the most extraordinary goal, quite unexpected from an absolutely unexpected source, but it puts West Ham 3-2 up, they lead for the first time in the game, and there are two minutes left. Here's Ben Rama, who's, I don't think, had anything to do with the, the ball, and suddenly has come on in a really febrile situation. 3-2 West Ham lead, and well... Some of the goals we've seen today are extraordinary. It'll need its own episode of match of the day. Here's Antonio, onside, breaking forward. Ben Rama in the penalty area. Antonio's cross is blocked by Thiago Silva. Just keep it, that's it, he's done well there, just to keep hold of it. Ben Rama again, and Antonio, and Bowen has been slipped through. Charge to 4-2, oh, he's put it over with his left foot. They're slicing through Chelsea as though they weren't there. A hot knife through the, the yellow butter of the Chelsea back line. They certainly are, and I don't know if Jared Bowen was trying to pull that back to Ben Rama. He makes a run, I think he's offside. If he does come in, and he's got no, he's gone for goal, he's gone off his instep, he's trying to curl it. Here come Chelsea. With Lukaku, and he's challenged, and it's cleared by Dion. Chelsea have conceded six goals all season before today. Free kick West Ham, Ben Rama foul. Looks a bit innocuous, but it was, I think, a little tug back by Loftus Cheek. And now they've conceded nine. Yeah, That's no. extraordinary it goes, it goes to pop. It happens that way. It just happens, and you, you go, go so few when you get a clutch of them against you. And I'm looking at his world. I'm looking at Chelsea, and I said it from, from when the substitution happened, but it was going to affect him having Lukaku on the park affected them they haven't been an attacking force they've had nothing about them at all they've relied on individuals to get them out of jail where before there was a team there was a build-up causing big big problems for West Ham from the moment the game kicked off had a corner inside of 50 seconds it feels like a long long time ago four minutes to add on at the end of the game four minutes it's West Ham three Chelsea two and West Ham have got the ball inside the uh, Chelsea half of the field, <coughs> and it's a throw-in. Well, no, it's a free kick. Well, no, it's not. They've taken a free kick, but it is a throw-in. I don't know how he's... Well, I found that strange how he's seen the throw-in there, by the way. He couldn't, he couldn't actually see one earlier from that position. James is going to clear this forward. Cut out by Fornals. 
West Ham trying to come forward again, but Chelsea have it with Pulisic. Can they retrieve the situation, Chelsea? It's with Hudson Adoy on the left hand side, Ooh. fouled by Soufal. Free a yellow card as well for Vladimir Soufal. This is 15 yards inside the uh, West Ham half of the field. It's first yellow card for a Chelsea player, a uh, West Ham player, would you believe? It's only been two yellow cards in the game. Here's James on the right. Oh, and he's got past Fabianski, but he can't get past Suchek. And then James has caught Suchek as well. It's a free kick. You can hear the roars of delight from the uh, West Ham supporters. The man of the match is being given. Well, sometimes they give the man of the match award, and it's absolutely preposterous. And sometimes they get it spot on. It's Jared Bowen. Yeah, we'll go with, I'll go with that one. Yeah, fair, fair, uh, a fair decision, I think, to be blunt. Right, it's going to be a free kick to West Ham. And this stadium, which was loathed by so many West Ham fans for so many years, and then it stood empty for 18 months. And these West Ham supporters are now having days here that they need to have. You know, that big win against Liverpool, leading here in stoppage time against Chelsea. I'll tell you what, I can't see an empty seat. So oh, they've all the, stepped up yes, the Chelsea, Chelsea end, end, yeah, they've yeah, all gone. Yeah, incredible. The West Ham fans want to be here, and it goes back to the maxim, the old maxim about how to make things good at a football club. Win games of football. Win games of football. It's that simple. It's that simple. And it's happening before our very eyes in East London. Here come Chelsea, though. Could be a last hurrah. A couple of minutes of stoppage time to go. Here's Mount, in comes the cross, flipped on by Pulisic, it's going to drop to Hudson-Odoi, left edge of the penalty area, goes back to Rudiger, manages to spin away from trouble, Rudiger plays it forward for Pulisic, but Rice has steered it away from danger, and clears the ball downfield. Still time to go, still time for Chelsea to earn something here, they trail 3-2. It's with Christensen. Wide to James on the right-hand side, challenged by Masuaku, the man who might have scored the winner. And now Chelsea are in trouble because West Ham are charging forward, and that's a foul by Christensen on Antonio. A yellow card for Christensen, free kick West Ham, halfway inside the Chelsea half of the field, with under a minute of scheduled stoppage time to go. The thing about that ball is a lovely ball by Masuaku, but again... Antonio gets in the way. It was Ben Rama's ball all day long, and someone like Ben Rama, you wanted him to get hold of it, take it to the keep possession, good possession, and he just runs across the line, and it's just showing his naivety still in that position. And if anything, if he'd have just ran away with it, Christensen was left in the precarious position of two against one, but he brought Christensen across. Chelsea's last Premier League away defeat was on the 21st, 23rd of May at Aston Villa. Since then, they've won six and drawn one in this season's Premier League, but they're losing here, and we've got about ten seconds of allotted stoppage time left. Thiago Silva has it inside his own penalty area. Andre Mariner can blow at any time. Lifted long by Rudiger, no one in a yellow shirt anywhere near it. Rice is going to bring this under control and clatter this clear out into the stands. And the West Ham fans howl for the whistle. Andre Mariner keeps his hands by his side at the moment. Thomas Suchek says, how long to go, ref? And Andre Mariner says, you'll find out when I blow the whistle. We're in the fifth minute of stoppage time. West Ham lead 3-2. And still we play on. Not anymore! London Stadium rises and the celebrations begin because David Moyes punching the air as he makes his way onto the field has masterminded another big victory for the Hammers in East London. It's absolutely extraordinary, it really is. Celebrations everywhere, Chelsea in front twice during the course of the afternoon. But West Ham come back to win 3-2 and the goal they won it with is one of the more bizarre ones you'll see. It's Chelsea's first away Premier League defeat since the end of May against Aston Villa, uh, and it is a blow in what appeared to be their inexorable march further and further into the higher reaches of the Premier League. But it's West Ham who now have...
having beaten Liverpool and Chelsea here at, at, uh, at London Stadium, must consider themselves Champions League challengers. Silver put Chelsea in front, Lanzini equalised uh, from the penalty spot, Mount made it 2-1, Bowen scored the second West Ham equaliser at the start of the second half, and then Arthur Masuaku won it late on. It is finished here, West Ham 3, Chelsea 2.